It's uh, past 10 o'clock, so I'll go ahead and call this meeting to order. This is a regular commissioner's court meeting for County of Star, Monday, May 22nd. Uh, I'd like the record to show that we do have quorum, everyone being present. If everyone would please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. to thank everyone for being here and welcome to our meeting um, first item is approval of claims mr. Carter uh, I guess before we go there let me go ahead and introduce you would you please stand uh, this is mr. Boyd Carter I think there's an agenda item uh, yes yeah, I think it's item six uh, well no seven, seven. yeah uh, the judges went ahead and appointed mr. Carter as our um, auditor uh, interim auditor so we thank you for your help mr. Carter and and welcome aboard to, to Stark County thank you sir I hope I am my help I'm sure I'm sure you will thank you so much um, are the claims in order move to pass Moved and second to approve discussion. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Uh, is there anyone that needs to come before the court before we go into our reports? Yes, sir. What what item number are you? No, I'm not going to. I just wanted to give a brief uh, a speech about opening our recycling center for the county. You, you need to get on our agenda, if not. It's as if okay. nothing would have happened. Okay. okay, so we have a meeting in two weeks. If you want to get on the agenda, we can certainly hear you out. Uh, how do I get in the agenda? Just call my office and, uh, and get with any of the girls and ask them that you want to be on the agenda. Okay. Okay? okay. Anyone else? If not, we'll go ahead and go down our reports. Uh, gas department. Mr. Good morning, Judge, Commissioners. Good morning, Good morning. My report is on your package. I have not much to add. It's just to highlight that uh, uh, we've had seven months of uh, being in the black since our race. Hope you all notice that. And uh, I normally don't uh, ask for things till July. <laughs> uh, but. Uh, just keep in mind that line replacements uh, need to need to be upkept. Uh, we're supposed to be doing 13 percent a year of old lines, and uh, we're 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 pretty far behind. Okay. Why don't you uh, schedule a, a meeting? Uh, and and I, I should be here all week. Okay. And we'll sit down and we'll talk about okay. the needs and so forth. Where are the oldest lines located? Uh, the oldest lines are in town, uh, but my problem line is the one that goes to Suntex. That's uh, uh, it's PVC, and it's uh, I don't know. It, for some reason, it uh, breaks very often, and it, it takes a lot of our time because we have to keep uh, leak surveying yeah. almost uh, once a week. Maybe you need to solve Schedule 40 instead of. Uh, uh, no, there, there's a, there's there's a there's a new line that the state is is asking us to use or they mandate it to, for us to use is poly. It's uh, it's got a hundred year warranty, yeah. Okay. So, so and that's what we're using on anything that's being replaced. Yeah, let's let's uh, we'll, sit down and, and we'll get together this week. Okay. It, it boils down to money. How much money is what? <laughs> and that's why I kind of smiled and I said, I don't, I don't ask till July because I know, I know how it is. Any questions? Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> Transfer station, Mr. Gonzalez. Good morning, Judge. Good, Good morning. morning. Uh, you have my report in your packet. The uh, only thing I have to report this uh, month different than any other month is that uh, two weeks ago we started getting trash from the city of Escobar. They already started collecting their own trash. They have one uh, dump truck currently and they're trying to fix another one or acquire a second truck. 
So that going to be a great answer for us, the transportation, starting to get that track off. So uh -huh. I ran into a problem over there in the Lomas of San Julian. I'm pretty sure we took a, we took a, just a guesstimate. There's more than a thousand tires that I need to pick up. They're on the road. They're on the side of the road on the road. What can I do? Well, uh, have you made? more than a thousand. Yes, sir. We can uh, start cutting them up over here in the transfer station, but we have to do them like a hundred every other day, so we can catch up. Yeah, but I mean that's the manpower I have and the space I have for them. I mean I couldn't uh, put them outside or put them inside the building. We have to leave the area of the trading without any tire through the. And, and, and the reason I think they're there is because they haven't been there for years. There's, there's a couple of businesses that all of a sudden they don't have no tires in them. Yeah. Yeah. Where's that? They're there. Yeah, no, we're glad to help you, Commissioner, but only that we need to space them out in order for us to be able to accommodate all of them. I have, we, okay, then, no problem. Any other questions? Let me ask you something, Mr. Walker. Yes, Who was picking up the Escobar's trash? I don't, I don't think they had an ordinance, whoever they had. The businesses had A1, and some of them had a grande garbage. But I think they passed an ordinance to where they all need to have uh, containers and all that. They, they bought it in truck themselves. Yeah. I, I think yeah, but now he said that it's going to help the transportation. But mm -hmm. I'm just wondering, that trash that was, was generated there, where was it going to? Is it somewhere else? Or uh, this well, new? At one time they had a contract with, with grande garbage. They had a contract, but now... But they were still bringing it here to the county of Dinefield, yeah. so it's not going to make much of a difference. I, I, the way I think, I see it. Well, the, the thing is, uh, Commissioner Garcia, is that they, it wasn't an ordinance to where everyone had Yeah, it's container. mandated right. now. Yeah. And I think uh, Mayor Escobar uh, had uh, told me that he, uh, Commissioner Alvarez was helping him out and they were working together. So he could be more information on that. They bought a new truck, I mean? Yeah, they bought a new truck. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else? Any any other question? No, sir. Thank, Thank you, you Commissioner. Sir. Uh, <coughs> uh, Star County Treasurer, Mr. Pena. Thank you, Commissioner. Good morning, Honorable Judge and Good Commissioners. Um, I'm going to go over the report summary. The actual reports are in front of you. Um, as of April the 30th, the general fund had $776,000 less than the same time last year. Number two, uh, the road and bridge fund was at $11,000 less at the same time last year. The total funds in all bank accounts was $11.6 million or $596,000 less than the same time last year. The amount of loans of general enterprise funds was 448,000, <coughs> being 117,000, <coughs> excuse me, less than the same time last year. <coughs> and we still have the line of credit of $1 million available. The balance of the county annex building bond was 1.5 million, being just under half a million dollars less at the same time last year. And the county deposits were well collateralized by the bank at 26% above our contract uh, terms. The county is no longer taxing amusement machines, so the overall amount for fiscal year <coughs> 2017 will be 728,000 less than the actual amount of 1.1 million received for last year. The county budgeted 800000 for the, this year and will be short 446000 for the life of this tax. The county collected $3.7 million. And the unemployment rate of Stark County for March was 14.9%. In Stark County, the rate from March 2016 to March 2017 increased by 0.6%. Uh, this unemployment rate is still the highest in the state of Texas. The county of Zavala had the second unemployment rate at 12.7%. And this is only a summary of the report and the full monthly treasury report. 
here too is filed with the county clerk. Any questions? Any questions, comments? The investment uh, report, <coughs> was, um, the copy that I received was uh, the one from the previous month. We gave you the correct number. We won't substitute the page. Uh, just want to make you aware of that substitution of that page corrected the uh, lip service. We also included two reports uh, for your information. We don't want to elaborate on them every month, but they're in there. So if you want to see them for yourself, it's the general fund taxes and the property uh, and the road and bridge taxes so that you can have an idea of what taxes are being collected. The way we have been doing it is based on what she actually collects, whether it's in delinquent, fees, or current. The way we'll present it next month will be the actual amount that we actually receive from the tax office so that you can have a good understanding of what tax you, you can count with as far as the, the money that are coming in. Uh, the general fund taxes is 600,000 less than last year, but you did budget less taxes, so you should be okay as far as that. And the road and bridge is coming up with a little bit more money than, than last year because the tax rate went up a little bit of that. Any questions? Any questions, comments? And the money that the justice the justice that they generate, mm -hmm. how come there's so much difference? I mean, between let's say prison number eight and the other prison. Being the prison number eight is very small. Yeah, prison uh, eight is Escobar. Escobar. Yeah, it it varies. It varies. Uh, their collections have, have always varied considerably, uh, depending on. On highway miles of US 83 in the precincts, normally that's the case. Uh, San Isidro is always high due to the fact that they have a lot of oil and gas on the 18 wheeler that are getting fine. When did you take this into account in the new budget? They're not working by the way with you, Cut the budget or cut their office. Do something drastic. Yeah, but you have to have an election to uh, Yeah. No, yeah. You know, I learned that. Yeah. Uh, Cameron County, you did away with JPs. Yes. But two, three years ago, I mean, that's Willisie County. Cameron County did away with some judges. I thought they needed an election, no? All you take is court action based oh, on what they to, did. To get rid, I think, I think a statute requires that we have one JP per precinct. Uh, we could eliminate one office per precinct uh, if yeah. the court so decides. That's right, but they go, judge, based on what, that, I thought we, we, we need to have an election, but no. no. They, they did it in Willisie just, a month ago, yeah. and about two years ago they did it. I don't know. If we, it was we, we would need to have a, we would need to have an election if we wanted to reduce it to less than one per precinct. Oh, okay. But as long as we have one per precinct, the election is done. So based on this report, uh, on what he said there, the county we're in good standing right now. Is no money concern? No. What do you mean no? Because we're in good Two reasons, but first to answer your question, what page were you looking at? Because if it was the, the fund balance or was it the, the disbursement and, and re revenue or receipt? Was it just a receipt? Yes. Two or two or three or one or three. Was it this one? One or three or two or three. Okay, that one, you're only looking at the balances. And the reason that those numbers are too erratic is the... Um, we inherit this balance, and it's unaccounted for uh, due to. We don't know who this money is due to. So every money, every month, $300, for example, come in and $300 goes out to where it's supposed to. At some point in time, uh, $20,000, for example, for the JP uh, in Escobares is there. It was never handed over to someone. I don't know when, uh, it was be before my time, but all we keep that is a balance, that balance for Now, if you want an indication of what the JPs are, are bringing in, you would go to this page. And in this page, I done no JPs, and that's page number two of the uh, bank received disbursements and balances, uh, account number 615, fund number 615. And there you would see, uh, some JPs coming in with 13,000 and others coming in with 2,000. I think that's the number you're looking for, and you're right, there is a big discrepancy, uh, difference. But 
or I'm not worried about that. I'm worried about the county as a whole. The county as a whole, that question, you would need to ask Mr. Carter. Uh, but I've been telling you all along, there's serious issues, shortcomings, and problems that are being addressed. In a summary, what I can tell you, if you're trying to run the Ford dealership mechanic shop with a hammer, a pipe wrench, vice grip, you not steal some. The equipment that you have at the auditor's office is obsolete. It's not gonna happen. Even counties as small as Zapata and, and, and Hebronville have accounting systems such as Hill Country and uh, net data and what you have is not gonna get you through. You're not even at Y2K. You're not even in the last millennium. And as long as you have those tools trying to do what you're doing, you're not gonna get there. Any questions, comments? Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. Thank you. <coughs> County Clerk. Any questions on that report? Thank you, Mr. Gonzalez. Thank you. Uh, Federal and State Programs. Buddy. The report is before you. Do you have any questions? I'm sorry? The report is before you. Do you okay. have any questions? <coughs> I'll give you all a few minutes to look at it. We, we met with Lori about two weeks ago, Victor, myself, Lori, Dana, and the judge, and she uh, gave us a status that on the week of May 15th, all paperwork proceedings would be filed with the courts. Am I correct, Victor? Yes. I believe, I believe uh, the, well, we've done, we split up the, the responsibilities. My office is drafting up the actual uh, deeds on those that are agreed to. The condemnations will be filed. Uh, we are finishing up almost all the paperwork on the uh, agreements. That, that is correct. Up by, are we right now in the middle of May? Yeah. Yes. Uh, by, by June 1st, uh, the latest June 15th, I expect uh, all the transactions to be completed as far as those agreements. <coughs> what is the deadline for this project? December 2018. December 2018. December 2018. Next year. And once we follow those condemnations, uh, we can start working, uh, proceeding on the actual work itself. We don't have to wait till the finish of the condemnation. We can start as soon as we have enough time. Yeah. Any other questions? Any other questions? Comment? Thank you, man. <clears throat> okay, if not, we'll uh, go on with our regular agenda. Uh, item number five is to take action on approving the new vendors list. I believe you all have that in your packet. I do some over here for approved vendors. Second. Moved and second to approve. Discussion? All in favor, please aye. 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 Opposed? This motion carries. Uh, next item is the approval of the new election administrator. Uh, John, there you are. We had a meeting about two, three weeks ago in which the elections committee met and uh, it was the decision of the election committee to ap appoint John uh, to, uh, as the election administrator. Uh, so that is my recommendation to the court uh, to approve John as our I new election just before we go to the to the vote, mm -hmm. uh, I'm pretty sure that our life is about a paycheck. What pay does it do with the responsibility? What what pay does he get if it can be discussed in open court? I think that's personnel, and uh, maybe we could discuss that in executive session. But uh, you know, so we can certainly discuss it. It's it's not on the agenda, but we can put it on if you'd like to discuss that. Okay. Uh, any other discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item seven, uh, also similar, is to approve the appointment uh, order for the new county auditor. The district judges met, and uh, in fact, I was I was at their meeting, 
and it was discussed about naming Mr. Boyd <laughs> Carter as our um, appointed county auditor. Uh, I think they're still out there looking for a permanent one, but uh, Mr. Carter was appointed by the by the judges. Uh, I don't know if we need to approve, but I certainly will. will uh, Entertain a motion to approve. I think it's really up to the judges, whatever they want. Are those moved? Yeah. Moved and second. Discussion. No well, discussion. You know, I mean, just based on the comment that uh, Mr. Peña did here, Mr. Carter, uh, uh, based on, on what uh, here Mr. Peña said that the auditor's office, just like a mechanic shop with one hammer, one tool, that's what all we got. I mean, and yeah. eventually, that's what you're gonna have to work with. For the meantime, you know, it, it, the audit has been, the auditor's office has been run in that manner, and we understand it needs to be upgraded. But do you feel confident that we can get the job that you can get the job done on, especially on this audit coming up? You know, we, it's very crucial that we have that audit done based on the outcome of you know the basically that like we can lose the all the federal grants, state and federal grants, because the audit not being on time. How do you feel about that? You, you want to use the podium, Mr. Carter? Or? No question, Mr. Carter. What what type of work were you doing at the bank? Uh, I'm a commercial real estate lender. Commercial what? Commercial real estate lender. Okay, how about uh, accounting and uh, you know things like that? Are you familiar with those? Bachelor of Business Administration degree from the University of Houston in Finance. I have a Bachelor of Accountancy degree from the University of Houston in Accounting, of course. Um, and I have a Master's degree in Banking. So, I, I, so I'm well versed. So you're well prepared. I'm prepared. In accounting so we can do away with those tools that Fernando was saying. And you no, can no, still no, work. No, 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 you can, he's not going to work with, it, with his <laughs> nail. You, 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 you want to get on the podium? There you go. Uh, the thing is, this is the first time I meet you, so I mean, I'm not familiar with you, so this is why I'm asking. Yes, sir. Don't think I'm trying to put no, you down I, or no, anything. I, no, but I, I need to ask, because if I want to hire somebody, well, I need to know what they can do. If they can't do the job, we don't need them. Okay, sir, thank you for the question. I, I appreciate this opportunity to respond. Um, I had a 40, I had a successful 40-year career in banking. Um, I, was, I had retired from the bank in, on December 31st of 2016. Um, the judges called me and asked me to come take this position uh, on, a, on a temporary basis. Um, Commissioner, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tell you the same thing I told the judges. I'm, I'm not looking for a second career. Okay, I'm, I, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a long-term solution here. Um, but the, the judges said they needed help immediately, and what I, what I consider, what I consider helping. So, because of. Um, based on several factors because I have many I had in my banking career I had many clients uh, and uh, and made many friends and uh, had many successful re business relationships with a lot of people here in Star County um, I've lived in I've lived in Zapata County since 1991 um, I'm married to a lady from San Ignacio uh, so I've already I've already drank the water okay it's, it's too late for me I'm not leaving okay uh, as a matter of fact, my grandson, um, my, my son and his family also live in, in Zapata. Uh, my grandson just graduated from Tamayu this past weekend. Uh, and I, I promise you that as long as my son and his family are in Zapata, I'm not leaving. Um, but I do have, I, I do also have a loyalty to Star County because of my uh, Many year relationships with business owners uh, and other and the other officials here in Star County. So, um, I, I I told the judges that I'll come in and help until I can get this ship back on the right course, uh, and then they'll find a permanent replacement, and I'll I'll fade off into the sunset and go back to being happily retired. Carter, 
Yeah, sure. Fade away. Yeah, sure. Uh, to follow up on Commissioner Garza's question, do you feel that the system that we have, and I, I'm not a high tech person at all, I don't even have a computer about this, but do you feel the system that we have there in their office is not adequate? Um, Commissioner, I've prepared a short statement to answer that to answer that question. If you, if I could, Judge, could I go ahead and read the statement, please? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Judge Vera, County Commissioners and officials, thank you for the opportunity to communicate the state of affairs in the County Auditor Office. Uh, since this is my first official communication, I wish I had better news to report. First, I am reporting to you that the timely completion of the audit of the Star County financial statements of September 30th, 2016 is in jeopardy. When I took office on May the 8th, I found that the September 30th county financial statements are not sufficiently complete to deliver to the auditors. My staff and I are working diligently to complete the financial statements and deliver them to the auditors. I have met with the in-charge representatives of the audit firm, apprised them of the situation, and asked for their cooperation in completing this task. The audit firm representatives assured me that they will do their best to complete the audit as quickly as possible once they have, have the financial statements. Secondly, I have requested assistance from the county auditor staff in neighboring counties uh, uh, to complete the financial statements. I'm going to rely on people with more experience with this particular uh, computerized accounting system and in, and in governmental accounting uh, to help me, uh, help me move this process along. Um, furthermore, I anticipate that I will request expert assistance by qualified professionals to assist in training me and my staff in the full operation of this county's financial accounting system. Um, I understand from various conversations I've had with um, other, other counties and, uh, and governmental uh, agencies that use the same computerized accounting system that there's a lot of features that we don't know how to use. We're not, we're not using the full capabilities of this system and as a substitute for the automated abilities of the system, we're doing everything manually and with, with, the, with the current staff that's that's impossible to keep up uh, uh, as uh, as um, the county treasurer reported um, the 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 volume of the transactions the complexity of the transactions the, the just the general size of the, the star county financial statements um, requires a more sophisticated uh, more sophisticated system than the one we have now yeah, let me um, let me interrupt you right there uh, mr. Carter you did say that the system that we currently have there it's got a lot of features that we're not using it has some features oh. that we're not okay we don't know how to use yet okay can once we get to using those features can this same system that we have continue to work and and the reason Fernando I wish you'd quit shaking your head but no 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 you, you're not allowed to talk uh, mr. Carter uh, the uh, the reason that I'm saying this is that this has been a constant issue with the treasurer's office about getting a new system the problem is as you heard a little while ago financially we're not in the best of shapes okay especially with a with a loss of the uh, amusement machine revenue and I've been protecting this since day one that we're going to be short at the end so this is nothing new to the court or to the community or anything else however some people keep pounding on it because they want to make the county look bad this the the past auditor that we had apparently did it with a system that we have without all those features that you're talking about that we're doing manual so my question is we don't have the money to get a new system I'm putting that right out there we cannot get a new system so somehow some way the system that we now have either we start using all the features that are in there or we continue doing the way it was done before and getting the audit out on time because it was being getting out on time uh, so I don't know what we can do to to ensure that the audit gets out on time Mr. Carter would it help if we would bring in the internal audit auditors to help you the external audit yeah the external the, the external or the internal 
external, the uh, internal uh, audit is him. Eh? Es es el internal audit. Estamos external. Yeah, we need the external. Yeah, external. Patillo and uh, Gracie, those people. External. Yeah. They're the internal. External. External. Mr. Carter, please listen to us, not not to them. You know, we're, we're the governing body. Go ahead, Mr. Bates. Huh? Can well, you can re no. <laughs> My question is, would it help to bring the external auditors to help you? Maybe with those statements, or I don't know. Well, I mean, okay. we're trying to see if we can get this uh, done in a month and a half. It's going to be... You know, quite a task. Well, well, number one, we're down. We're we're down to thirty-eight days now. Okay? okay, it's not it's not a month and a half. We're 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 real close to the deadline. Number two, um, the suggestion of using the internal auditors is not feasible. No, no, not the internal. The external. The, e the, internal. the I'm sorry. The external auditors. Um, the auditing firm that we have engaged is um, Patillo Brown. Pa pa Patillo Brown. Pa Patillo Brown and Hill. They have to maintain their independence, so they will not. They they cannot under the uh, AICPA rules of practice. They cannot participate in helping us in this project. This okay. is now, which brings me to my next suggestion is. Yes, I do want to hire, uh, I, I do want to seek the help of outside professionals. Um, uh, county auditors or, or assistants. Well, I have, I, have discussed, uh, I have discussed assistance with the county auditor of, of Jim Hogg County, and uh, I've, I've placed a call to the county auditor of um, Hidalgo County, but I haven't had that conversation yet. I expect to get a return call later, later today. But I'm going to ask them. Um, n normally, you know, there is there is an association, uh, the, the Texas Association of County Auditors, and and that being said, county auditors generally cooperate and try to help each other, and it, most of the time it's pro bono. I can't I can't promise you that, and I can't promise that um, <clears throat> I, I can't promise you that. Um, uh, that their their time I can't promise you that their time will be available for us. Okay, so you're you're saying that we're not using our computer system to the fullest, right? That, that's correct. Okay, would it help? Would it help to bring a high tech young man or young woman to help you there? Well, I'm you know, I'm going to do somebody that's really uh, into the yes, the, I'm going to do system. I'm going to I'm going to attack that problem on, from several different directions, uh, Commissioner Pena. Okay. Um, I'm going to call the vendor of the. Uh, in fact, I have already called the vendor of this accounting system, the computerized accounting system, and um, requested training from them. Uh, asking them to send someone uh, to spend some time with us and, uh, and, and, and train us on how, to, on how to use this system. And also, I'm going to discuss with the Board of Judges the possibility of getting paid professional help. Uh, some, someone who, uh, who has worked in this system before uh, and knows how to, knows how to use it, uh, knows how to turn all the features on, uh, when and you say can paid professional help, do you mean hiring someone or bringing a contract? Yeah, I, I'm going to I'm going to discuss on a contract on temporary contract basis. I'm going to discuss that with the board of judges and see if uh, uh, and explore that uh, that possibility. But I'm going to recommend it. You bring yes. somebody like that into the system, and he's going to expedite everything. So that's my know? hope and my plan. Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Right. So that's the. That's, that's the multiple fronts Remember, that I'm... we need that money because we're talking about millions of dollars that we stand oh, to I, lose. I, I understand the gravity of the situation. I, I understand the importance. That's, that's not an issue. I, yes, I but I want you. everybody to know <coughs> how much we stand to lose because it wasn't how we're doing. I, Somebody else's. Well, um, my, my plan B... 
my, my plan B and C is I'm going to get a list of all of the grants that the, that the county has open and I'm going to contact the various agencies and entities that supply those grants and I'm going to send them a very nicely worded letter asking for an extension of time. Very good. So I'm, I'm going to attack this problem on many different levels, many different fronts, all at the same time. I, I can't, I, I'm not going to promise, okay? We have, we have 38, 38 days to the deadline and a huge job in front of us. Um, no, I did not understand the full scope of this job when, when I talked to the district judges about it. But, but uh, Mr. Uh, Carter, on, on those letters, you know, if, if I can help you in any way, I'm there to help you because as the commissioner just mentioned, well, uh, this is do or die for the court. Uh, you know, if, if on those letters you want a co-signature with your mm -hmm. signature and mine asking for extensions, I'd be more than happy. Well, uh, anything yeah. I can do to, well, to help. You, you and your staff have been very helpful and it's much appreciated. And, and this is a team effort, yeah. uh, Judge, as, as all of you know. So we'll Let's not forget that we need to work as a team. Because we got to get that audit finished. Yes, sir. So, Absolutely. That's it. Yes, sir. That's you and everybody yeah, and, else And if, here. if well, we need to hire outside professional help, I think that falls on the ream of the court because that's a budget item. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, I, I, I think I can speak for the, for the court. It's not an agenda item. We'd have to put it here to amend the, the, the agenda, I mean, the, the budget. But uh, we're not going to lose millions of dollars to save 50000 or whatever it is it costs. Uh, yes. You know, we, we'd well, be more than happy to work with you to bring in outside help so we can get this on it out. Yes, sir. I, I, have, um, I have a meeting with the, with the Board of Judges tentatively scheduled for later this week, and I will keep you informed immediately as to the outcome of that meeting. But they've assured me that they're behind me 100%. Oh, I'm sure they, they are. Yeah. Yes, sir. So... We'll do that, and I, I thank you and your staff for your able assistance and cooperation, and we're all going to work together on this and get well, it well, done. Well, I want to touch you with something, Mr. Carter. The gas system is being operated by a cougar, so you might, you never seen that Houston? You might be able to do it. I, I'm sorry, the gas system is all over there. My, uh, my brother, Chavito, over there. Oh, <laughs> And yes, my uh, my the, the door to my office is open for any of you who want to who want to visit or, or come ask questions. Um, I'd ask you to respect the time of, of me and my staff. But any any time, uh, if you want if you want a conversation, I'll be glad to meet with you. Mr. Carter, the judge and the court, we thank you for coming in and helping us. Mr. Garner, so let's do the best. I'm, I'm going to do my best, sir. Yes, sir. And on, me, on my behalf, uh, Mr. Carter, uh, I think I met you once, and I've been a Lone Star client for many, many, many years. And I think I, I greeted you once there and, because I never did any commercial loans with you. But I'm going to ask from you that I hope that you treat each and every department equally, not like the previous auditor that we had, picking on, well, on certain, and I was one of them that used to pick on me, you know. And you got staff there, and I'll let you know, that are riding on a high horse that you need to bring them down to earth. Because when you go out there, send your employees out there, and they think they were the county auditors. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, that kind of attitude, I mean, it doesn't help. We don't want to micromanage anybody, but I think every department, or myself, or my employees go into your office, and need some information or questions, they need to be treated just like any other human being, not trying to act like they're well, the gods of, well, of the God. The, the people, people who know my professional reputation um, know that I don't behave that way. No, I know, I'm not you. I'm so telling you, the people you got working well, there, you're still permanent right now, right now at this, at this well, point in time. Uh, Commissioner Garza, I'll, I'll, I can say with confidence that I am impressed with my staff. There's only four people, and I only have a four-person staff yeah. to begin with, okay? Yeah. And uh, it is a major struggle for us four people just to keep up with the daily workflow, never mind 
never mind the added burden of trying to complete these financial statements and deliver them and deliver them to the auditors and everything else but um, but I assure you that I have already had this conversation with my staff well I'm telling uh, you because uh, we hit that problem you know well I'm I'm sorry about what happened well, in the past that okay that that's I water hope, under the bridge I and I can't and I can't change it, but I can uh, no, I, I can behave in a professional manner that's going and forward. And I hope that you know that you treat your employees, and I'm not talking about the gentleman here because I know him. But that when any person comes in, not not only my staff or anybody, treat him like they ask a question, you know, well, answer it properly. I've, I've already had I've already had meetings with several of the department heads and agency heads, uh, and uh, you know we're and established lines of communication so that we can all work together as a team and cooperate equally and get this job done. Okay. I, I think that the, the number one thing right now is the audit. We need to get the That's audit. That's right, you know, but I'm talking just so yeah. we won't forget something else. I hope we operate and you know that we operate on the twelfth month cycle of a year, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And we continue to work as a commissioner. And we should be continue to have POs every month until the last day of the year. Well, that lady would cut us off 30 days before, and then it would take her two months after to open up the POs to get so we can purchase, and the bills were not paid. We got, we got people that don't give it credit because of that, you know? And I don't think it's fair for the vendors up there. Well, that's, that's just a symptom of the problem that the county treasurer and I have, have, have just told you about, okay? It, it, it is a symptom of the issue that that the, the previous county auditor in her term of office never learned to use the full capabilities of the system, never developed a staff to support it, and never developed the staff to be able to do not only the, the, daily, the daily workflow, but projects such as the, the annual financial statements and and monitoring the uh, the grants um, so yeah, there's no, a lot I'm talking of our PO. see when when we come <clears throat> to the end of the year uh, uh, you know she would hold off all the payments and POs. Well, that's that's what, water under the bridge commissioner Garza that's I what can't. I say but I hope that you could that you can upgrade that that stuff well. So we can continue on and don't uh, the vendors close our, our I, I'm going to get the audit done first. That has okay, to be right. that right, has right. to be my priority. But, but I'm I'm, a, I'm aware. Yeah, I, I, I'm I aware. hope that you could uh, well, you know straighten this out because we need we need help because we as the commissioners and everybody every every office they're just like what happened? What's going on? When are we going to get paid and all this kind of stuff? Yeah. You know? Uh, I, I do have a motion and a second to approve the appointment, which is what this item was for. I have uh, one more paragraph. Okay, in go my ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead and finish it up. Judge, if you don't. Sure, okay. go ahead. Um, third, I am, I am recommending a significant change to the county's accounting system for managing grant funds. Uh, currently, grant funds for use by various county department and departments and agencies are commingled with the county's general fund. This system leads to inefficiencies, errors, and much difficulty in separately accounting for the funds of each individual grant. Specifically, I am requesting creation of a general ledger account titled Star County Grant Clearing Account, where all grant receipts and disbursements will be recorded. The use of this account will be phased in over time as necessary information for each grant is obtained, and grant receipts and disbursements can be tracked according to the terms and conditions of each grant. Yeah, so I, I think that's, to to that's totally your call, Mr. Carter. You know, however you think that office can run smoother and more efficiently, well, uh, the, we're, um, we're, we're all for it. All right. Well, I, I will work with the Treasurer's Department to, to make this happen. and streamline and make this make the make the daily operations more efficient and faster so that we can attack mr J commissioner garza's uh, timely suggestion that, that we i mean you know, am, I, that we, am, I, am i asking well, something that's out of line sir sir the, am i asking something oh, that's out of line that was already that was already on my to-do list commissioner okay, well, Garza. I appreciate okay. that because it's a long-term it's a long-term project it's not no, going to happen i understand but, you but i mean you know, i like it's you already, know, i'm pretty sure you were aware what was going on but you know but yeah. this you know 
And it's well, embarrassing that you go out there and take a PO yeah, and get well, buy know, something. They went, oh, you don't I've, have a credit, you haven't paid. You know. Well, there you go back again. Uh, uh, I've all the, the 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 issue has already been described to me before this meeting. Okay, okay. I'm I'm aware of it. Well, it's on my it's on my to do done. list along with many other projects that I can improvements that I can see a need to be made in the auditor's <coughs> office. So yeah, and uh, after hopefully two, we can you know yes sir. we continue working forward. I've, uh, and, uh, you know. Judge, I've taken way too that's much quite time. Right. No, that's no, quite all right. That's quite all right. We need to hear from you and you need to hear from us. Yes sir. Yeah, the county auditor's office, uh, Mr. Carter, is extremely important to the operation of this county. In fact, I think that is one of the oh, I have, most important offices that we have. I, I have thoroughly read county, state, local government code chapters 111 through 115. I'm, yeah. I'm aware of the scope of the job. It's, uh, it's tremendous. Thank you so much. Good luck, and like I said, I'm going to wait until you finish your audit, and hopefully be soon. Then I'd like to visit with you personally. Let's do that, absolutely, sir. Thank you. Okay, Thank you. I have a motion, a second, to approve the appointment. Uh, all in favor, please aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carries. Thank you, Mr. Carter. Uh, item 8 is also relating to the auditor and the election administrator. This is to approve their bonds. They both uh, turned in the bonds. We just need to approve them. I just want to move you know. Second. Moved and second to approve. Uh, discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. No opposed? Motion carries. Uh, item 9 is to approve a resolution for TDHCA home uh, program application for federal and state programs. I believe we have that with us. I just moved it. Second. Monday? It's a resolution. I have a motion and a second. Discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item 10 is an action item, and this is a one year renewal and back pay agreement with a conduit formerly ASC. Uh, Mr. Gonzalez? Yeah, uh, there was a typo there, Judge. It was ACS. ACS. Uh, about two months ago, I came to you, to you all, and we approved an extension, uh, an extension with. Uh, conduit uh, from the ACS. Uh, however, they were not comfortable with the extension and they wanted to they wanted it to be worded in agreement. Uh, basically, this will take care of uh, back in, in August, they stopped billing us, so they haven't sent the bill over so we can pay it. Uh, it's been budgeted. Uh, just have to be perfect. Well, if you don't get a bill, we pay it. <laughs> Water under the brick. You know. <laughs> well, we actually it's move to approve. Move oh. <laughs> Moved and second to approve. Discussion. All in favor, please aye. aye. Opposed. Motion carries. Items 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15 are budget amendments. Uh, hold on, hold on. No, uh, through 14 are budget amendments. Uh, are they in order? Yeah. Move to approve. Moved and second to approve. Discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item 15 is a donation in the amount of $200 from Telma Delgado. Moved and second. To approve. Discussion? All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. <laughs> Item, uh, okay, it is. 1110 and pursuant to section 551.074, we will go into executive session to discuss possible uh, action on major medical health insurance bids and uh, possible order of salaries. Thank you. And we're back in executive, I mean, in open session. Under order of salaries, is there a motion to approve as well? Move second. Moved and second. Discussion. All in favor, please say aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item uh, on the health insurance uh, proposals. Uh, is there a motion to that? But uh, you're, and this is my opinion, I'd like to see, explore what's out there, bid to open up on the major medical and the pharmaceutical. That's my opinion. Okay, my, my, my opinion on that is that we open up the pharmaceutical, I agree with Commissioner Garza, uh, it does lack 
some services on the pharmaceutical. However, on uh, the health, I believe we should go ahead and continue with the one we have. Hopefully, we will not have an increase where all other entities are having increases. Uh, we do have a Cadillac health insurance, except in the medical, I mean, in the pharmaceutical. That's, uh, but it's up to you. I'm confused what you say. You trust that if we get the pharmaceutical straight out, uh, a big percentage of the problem will be straightened out. I agree with the judge. I agree with the judge. Is that a motion? Or? I'm over there with you. Is that a second? That is a second. Okay, I have a motion and a second to go ahead and open up the pharmaceutical uh, and, and continue with the coverage that we currently have uh, and, and see what, what it's going to look like. Any other discussion? All in favor, please aye. Aye. Opposed? I'm going to oppose the other because I said that okay. we're not giving proper health care to our employees what they deserve. Okay, let the record show Commissioner Garza voted. Uh, 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 you abstain? No, I negative? voted against it. He voted, voted yes, against I, it? Okay. Like I said, I agree to open up, the, uh, but I would like to see the whole thing. Yeah. And, and, and you know, uh, well, I guess all in, all in favor, please say aye. Aye. Well, the motion carried. Uh, and, and I agree with you, Commissioner, to a certain extent. It's just that next year we are going to be in a very critical situation financially, uh, as we've been talking from day one because of the maquinitas. Uh, however, uh, you know, and I'm afraid if we open it up, then both of them might want to come in and, and <coughs> increase their, their amounts. That's the only reservation. And, uh, and I agree with you, Your Honor, but I'd like to see maybe we could could be that we could get a better rate. Maybe we don't that we don't, oh, don't, don't, don't get it. Well, see, but at least a, we, we where there's no doubt there. That said, this is, we can tell the employer this is the best we can get for you. Yeah, it's a gamble. You know, that's my opinion. You know. It would be, be no. Yeah, yeah, what time? Is there a motion to adjourn? Move, yeah. Is there a motion to adjourn? Okay, moved by Commissioner Pena, second by the commissioners. Uh, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries.